The Duquesne women's volleyball team has rushed out to a 6-2 record and is amidst a five-game winning streak thanks to a perfect weekend at the Duquesne Robert Morris Invitational. During the Invitational, Duquesne's all-time winningest coach, Steve Opperman, hit a new milestone as he secured the 400th win of his career, and he just keeps coming back. You know, our players, um, just, I get excited the most when I'm in the gym training our players, just seeing them get better every day in practice and, and then it, the results on, on the floor. Speak to the players and coaches, and you will find a new level of intensity in 2016. Um, I think uh, so far this season we've just been in preseason and in all our practices and games we've just been like really competitive and just like going at it and coach has been saying like stay aggressive in everything we do and that's kind of uh, the way we've like taken the season. If we're staying aggressive we're going to score points and other teams will back off and that's, I think that's what a lot of our success has come from this season so far. It, it, they're just resiliency right now. They just get after it. you know. Um, Diving after balls, you know, getting you know balls up, making plays that you know teams in the past haven't made before. They just you know just keep after it and, and just never give up. That competitiveness willed this team to a perfect weekend, consisting of four match wins in which the Dukes didn't drop a single set. It was it was pretty amazing. I, I can't remember the last time we went through a weekend winning every match 3-0. And the nice thing was is you know we had leads and maybe we gave up some runs, but. Never panicked, didn't, you know, um, didn't freak out to our opponents getting a, a few points on us, but we just stayed calm and finished our match. It was awesome. I mean, we uh, had confidence before. Like, we knew coming in that we, we could be a great team, but I think that kind of showed, showed that we, can, we were good, and that wasn't even our best volleyball, and we can be even better than that playing against great teams. Much of the Duke's early success is thanks to freshman setter Danny Cedar, who has come in and played well while trying to fill the shoes of Duquesne's all-time assist leader, Mary Henry. So far, Cedar is averaging over 10 assists per set. She's uh, awesome coming in. Even from the start, she was like really confident in herself and just that like she could come in and fill that position and play. And I think she asked for a lot of feedback from us, and I think that was a great way for like the connection to get started right from the beginning for us, which is great. Basilac herself is coming out strong in her sophomore season as she has racked up a team-high 99 kills through just eight matches. You know, she, she started off a little slow last year. Um, didn't play club, was trying to, still tried, trying to decide between playing basketball or volleyball. Um, was the co-state player of the year in basketball her senior year. I was, you know, a, a great basketball player as well. Her sister actually is coming to Duquesne to play um, in 2017. So, um, so the genes run there. But she's just really learned the game, you know, at a, at a higher rate now. Um, just athletic kid, can do a lot of nice things, make smart plays on the floor. I think just needed the reps in the gym to get better, and, and we see that on the floor now. It's not only the young players getting it done for Duquesne, however, as senior Sammy Klein also reached a milestone over the weekend, recording dig number 1,000 and receiving a commemorative ball from her head coach. Exciting. I kind of had no idea that it was happening. It kind of came out of the blue, which I don't think any of us were really prepared for it, so it's kind of, I think that made it more fun. Yeah, just the, over the last couple of years, she's turned into a really nice team leader. You know, she played uh, with Patty, um, um, uh, who, who was our all-time career assist, uh, career uh, dig leader. But she uh, she learned from Patty, um, has, has taken a lot of the things that Patty has done and translated those onto the floor. And then on her own, has just taken the team under her wing. You know, she's a defensive player who's on the floor on every play, trying to pass every ball to target, and just gets the kids going when they need to, to get going and keeps our team calm when, when they need to stay calm as well, but has just been a really nice leader you know, uh, over the last couple of years. After a strong start to the 2016 season, the Dukes will continue looking to rely on their depth as they move forward. The seniors, Klein, Maddie Burnham, and Lacey Leavers all experienced the feeling of an Atlantic 10 championship back in 2013 and would love to make this a repeat performance. Um, basically, I think it's just gonna be coming coming down to hard work and dedication like we have all the pieces of the puzzle to put together and it just really comes down to us being the ones to actually work hard for it just like every year you know every team wants to win a10s you know so that's always at the at the forefront but right now we're just taking one match at a time you know it's great that we won five matches last week you know our, our focus right now is on south dakota state and south dakota state only you know we don't want to look past anybody look forward to a10s you know when we get there we'll start looking forward to that but you know, one match at a time, getting better, uh, and making the team a stronger unit. I think, like, uh, we've noticed that, like, everyone, like, we all really want to win. Like, that's just kind of the theme is, like, uh, everyone, like, wants to play. We love volleyball. We want to play. Like, everyone wants to be on the court, and everyone wants to play, and that's what's pushing everyone to, like, get even better and what will make us have a successful season, I think.